Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, it's me Jedi Master 98 back again with another Star Wars figure review. In today's Star Wars figure review we're going to be taking a look now at more characters and the vintage collection line. And in today's Star Wars figure review we're going to be taking a look now at that character that appears in Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. And the character we're going to take a look at today is this one. It is the Weequay from Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. Now this is the character Weequay that does appear in Star Wars Episode 6 Return of the Jedi. This character does appear as part of the uh, Sarlacc pit scene in Return of the Jedi where obviously Luke, Han and Chewbacca have obviously been uh, sentenced to uh, basically death and um, obviously that is uh, going to be caused by the Sarlacc pit but little did they know that Lana Kurizin is obviously undercover. Princess Leia is obviously chained up by uh, Jabba the Hutt. And obviously you've got C-3PO and R2-D2 as well. It's a standard figure from Return of the Jedi, but I'm uh, pleased to have added this to the collection. Uh, I do have an older version of this character, but I thought I'll go for an updated version in terms of articulation and obviously uh, accessory-wise and obviously a, a better sculpt and a better design as the years have gone by. But I'm pleased with my purchase. So that's the weak way. We'll take a look at that character in more detail. But let's take a look at the packaging that comes with this character. As you see, this is the packaging for the weak way. At the top, you've obviously got the Return of the Jedi logo there. 40 years of Return of the Jedi. The name and image of the character in action. The Kenner logo. And obviously the plastic bubble that protects the figure. Turn the packaging around, you've obviously got the other figures that appear in the wave, the Star Wars logo, and obviously the legal stuff at the bottom. So pretty standard stuff as usual as part of the Vintage Collection line. So that's the packaging. Let's take a look at this figure in more detail. I'm going to start off with the articulation. As you see the weak way, it does come with movement at the top of the head, shoulders, elbows and the wrists. Torso is movable as well. Movement in the legs, movement in the knees, and obviously some movement in the ankles. Accessory eyes, he does come with two. It does come with a blaster pistol sculpted in a black plastic. And he also does come with this sort of large axe looking weapon, which is cool as well. Give you a zoom in on the overall design of the character. As you see, obviously this is the weak eyes design. You've obviously got the blaster pistol in that hand and the large weapon on the other. You've obviously got a uh, unique look of this character, a very wrinkly character with sort of a ponytail on the back as well. Got some markings and obviously some uh, uh, different uh, designs on the outfit itself. You've obviously got the belt and obviously some uh, pockets on there, which is not too bad. Uh, it doesn't come with a holster, which is a little bit of a shame, but it is what it is. But obviously the pistol is not too bad. And then moving down to the legs and onto his shoes as well. So it's pretty standard stuff, standard design, but I'm happy with my uh, overall purchase of this character. As I stated, I do have an older version of this character in terms of obviously sculpt wise, but I thought I'd go for a more of an updated version in recent time. So that's pretty much it for the week. Way. I hope you've enjoyed this review and I'll be back with many more Star Wars reviews very soon. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching. Please don't hesitate to also subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I will see you very, very soon. So until next time, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Get me words out. Thanks for watching. Take care, look after yourself, and as always, may the force be with you.